So to me and long term here at Biosphere 2, one of the coolest things that we're seeing from this rainforest, and again, this is the hottest rainforest on the planet. It sees the highest temperatures because it's built in a greenhouse, right? You don't have that cooling capacity of the air moving through. And so we see temperatures that are 10, 15 degrees, so 20 uh, Celsius, so 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit higher here than you would see anywhere else on the planet in the rainforest. And these trees can handle it. They're resilient to it. They actually, the response time is on the order of months. Uh, also with drought, they're very resilient to drought. They have all way, kinds of ways to actually cope with these kind of changes. And if you, it's to me, what has over the years has impressed it, it, it this notion that, and I think for humans, it's, as humans, it's difficult to understand because we can move and we're relatively short lived. Trees are both, depending on the species, of course, but they can live anywhere from 50 to 100 years to thousands of years. Right? If you live thousands of years, you have to be ready for whatever is thrown at you, especially if you cannot move, if you cannot go and so, so just move up the mountain when it gets too hot or you move down the mountain when it gets too cold. Right? The tree is stuck in one position, so it has to be much more resilient and it has to have all that information in its genetic makeup. And so I think that this, this kind of resilience of this, or this capacity to acclimate within the individual is where trees are very different than we humans are. And I, <coughs> to me, this Biosphere 2 rainforest has really helped with that kind of uh, sort of seeing things very differently and much more like trees and the way that they are experiencing things. Because what, in my mind, we're finding here is that trees are a lot more resilient than we give them credit for.